Hello. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to change from a mixed number to an improper fraction. First of all, we need to know what is a mixed number. A mixed number can look like this. In each mixed number, there are two parts. First of all, a whole number part. And second of all, a fraction. Together with the whole number and the fraction is called a mixed number. This particular mixed number reads two and three quarters, or two and three fourths. Now what is an improper fraction? Improper fraction can look like this. The reason it is called improper for two reasons. First of all, it has no whole number. Secondly, the upper portion of the fraction is called the numerator, and the numerator has larger value. And the lower portion of the fraction is called the denominator, which it has smaller value. So this improper fraction reads 11 over 4 or 11 fourths. Change from a mixed number to an improper fraction, it take a process. And this process is what we need to learn today. From a mixed number, we're going to take the whole number multiply by the denominator and then add it with the numerator and put that value on top as the new numerator. So it is 2 times 4 plus 3 over the denominator. And then we need to evaluate the upper portion so the new numerator becomes 8 plus 3. That equal to 11 over 4. And this is a converted improper fraction. Let's look at another example. 1 and 5 9. Again, it takes the whole number, multiply by the denominator and then add it with the numerator. 1 times 9 plus 5. That equal to 14 over 9. And that is the converted improper fraction. The mixed number and the improper fraction has the exact same value. It just looks different. Let's take a look of this mixed number, 7 and 1 half. You can always pause the video, work on your own, and then check with the answer. We're going to convert 7 and 1 half. 7 times 2 plus 1. And the answer is 15 over 2. Let's do another one. 3 and 2 sevens. 3 times 7 plus 2. Remember that? Twenty three over 7 is the converted improper fraction. Okay, you can work on your own. 3 and 5, 6. 
3 times 6 plus 5 equal to 23 over 6. Did you get the right answer? This is a little tougher one because it had a larger whole number, but that's okay. The process is still the same. Let's give it a try. 15 times 5 plus 2. I'm sure you got the right answer. 77 over 5. You can always come back and repeat the video math lesson if you still have any difficulty. Alright, that's our lesson. See you next time.